Welcome back guys, so in this video we're going to test out the speedometer. So this is a speedometer from a Corrado. I have it wired up to a four pole sensor on the pillar drill, so the pillar drill will remain constant. And I'm going to try it and test the speed of this. So in one, two, three. There we have a, a healthy 150 kilometers an hour. So you're probably wondering what, what am I doing with this setup? So with the pillar drill is like my gearbox. So I'm constantly driving at the exact same speed all the time, never change. Um, yeah, some of them are looking for 16 poles, some of them are looking for six poles, and some of them are looking for four poles, depending on the manufacturer of how they wanted to set up their gearboxes. So obviously if you have more uh, poles, it's a, a neater curve coming in because you're, you're taking more samples at a, a faster rate. If you have less poles, you're taking a sample rate at a slower rate. Um, I don't know whether it would be any good at, at higher speeds or not. But the thing is, whether this says kilometers or miles, it really doesn't matter once the speedo or the, the actual speed that's displaying is the same as what the previous gearbox was. So that means that when I'm driving forward, even it'll still be the same regardless if it says miles here or kilometers. So it is actually working out a different calculation each time for miles and kilometers. And now we're going to work on the cadet dash. So we turn it on. It's 127, which means it's in the cadet range, which is looking for 16 poles. I have a 16 pole vehicle speed sensor here from a GM car. We're going to turn on the speedo. Okay, so that was 67 miles per hour, which is way below 150, which I was looking for. So I'm going to change this from miles to kilometers. Okay, now in kilometers. Okay, so it was 108, which is closer, but not great. So that's currently in 16 pole because it's in cadet mode. So I'm going to turn it into Monza mode, which is six pole and see what happens. So to change it, there's a little knob just back here. That's it there. I've written on it. So we're going to change it to 150. Now, so we are in Monza six pole mode. So we turn on the ignition again, 150, which means six pole mode, Monza. There's the vehicle speed sensor, still in 16 pole mode. Okay, now to try it again. Mm. Okay, so 154 is just way too high. So that's in kilometers, and I was hoping it would actually work in kilometers. So I'm gonna change it back to miles. You know it says miles, it'll still read kilometers, so let's hope for the best. Yes! Booyah! Okay. Okay, 157. I was looking for 150 exact. That's actually super. That's brilliant. So, booyah! That is actually correct, because you should your speedo should always read slightly faster than you are going. So then... If you went through a checkpoint or whatever, you'd still be underneath your speed limit. So that's brilliant. So now I know that I've used a 16 pole vehicle speed sensor in Monson mode, looking for six poles. I get 157 on the dash, which is close enough to 150. So that's a win. So the other question is if the Volkswagen dash read 150 kilometers. When this is in kilometer mode and in 16 pole mode, which I wanted it because of the 16 pole vehicle speed sensor, why didn't it show 150 kilometers an hour? And the reason is, this is a Monza or Cadet. I think it's the early 80s or maybe the late 80s that this dash came out of. And the wheels that would be on this car, the reason why there's two different settings and at the back two different settings is if you had different tires, they accounted for this. But most of the tires back then were 13 inch and 14 inch. And 
I'm going to be running 16 and 17 inch rims on the Corrado and I want it as close as I can to correct speedo and that's why I had to jump between the different poles and between kilometers and uh, miles so it's a count for all this setting because I'm using maybe like bigger and newer tires than this dash was originally re requested or required of it and that's why I have to jump around a bit and modify it a little bit I suppose to actually get the speed to correct so my long-term plan is to get this now into the Corrado so I didn't do it the previous owner to me I think maybe even two or three previous owners to me did this conversion so they got a Monza dash they cut the whole bezel off they got a Corrado bezel they cut the Corrado bezel off and joined the two of them together it's an okay mount I've never put it into the car the past owners never actually got it wired up so it never actually worked um, it was a maybe a Sunday afternoon job and the project got abandoned so I took it on and I thought it'd be really cool and something just totally different to have this running in the VR6 Corrado and on we go so this is now the speedo all lit up it was just a loose connection when I was actually testing the speedo here but um or the dash clocks I should say but this is absolutely lovely so this is you're going to be your fuel gauge here water temperature battery and oil so it's even telling me that the battery is about 14 volts which is happy enough because it's on a battery charger that probably is correct your water temperature so it's a mixture of hot and cold and in between your fuel gauge is going to be divided into four this will tell you when you're getting low or on your reserve so i'm going to wire that so it doesn't work because the crowd doesn't have that built in but um all the others are there and across the bottom you have your indicators and your high beam and this side here you have indicators and parking brake so it's lovely I absolutely love it. The best bit is actually when you turn it on. It goes all the way through its little system check. But um, I think it's absolutely gorgeous. It's nearly addictive pressing it each time. It will display a different number here. So you get 125 for Monza and 127 for Cadet. So one is first one is 16 pole for no it's six pole for the Monza and 16 pole for the cadet what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a loom probably cut the loom and then try and splice back into it so it'll be like a plug and play if I want to I can go back to the correct Corrado dash and I can just pull the whole loom to go with it so it'll be its own custom loom but the loom will be actually plug and play for Volkswagens Downside to this, I actually would like an actual speedometer, or even if it was this display with a, a linear curve like this, so you can actually like give a reference of how fast you're going rather than having to look at numbers. So you can just see it cross, if you're like three quarters across the, the speedo dial, you know that you're going kind of fast, where you have to read the number here. Because this is not a Corrado dash, the spoiler is not going to work. So there's a few ways of doing this. One is to have two dashes in your car, one maybe hidden in the glove box, maybe just the circuit board itself of a correct crowd of one. And so it's getting two inputs. One, the speedo has been put, inputted here, and then the speedo has also been inputted into Corrado dash and then having the line out. So your speedo, uh, your spoiler still works. That seems to be an awful messy way, but everything would work. Second thing is probably the more logical way of just put up that spoiler's not going to work and just put it up and ma up and down manually using the button. Third one is either go down the Arduino or the Raspberry Pi route and have it written, write, write a code to it, to the Raspberry Pi or the Arduino that at a certain speed send the signal to the vehicle speed sensor that controls your spoiler and push the spoiler up and down. It's it's maybe a more of a long-term project that way. Probably what will end up happening is just use it manually, just go up and down. It's not an everyday car. It's going to be a bit of a show, a bit of fun. That this, this might going to be my new dash. But um, I absolutely love it.